What's up, this is HG News. So before I uh, start the video, let's have a new guy, that's a new channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like below, and push that bell button as well. So you get notified every time a video comes out and watch the other videos that show the other videos and the playlist that show up on this video on either side of the screen. I'll have those in the video as well. So um, my parents were actually involved. This is part of the title. Um, they were involved in the Amtrak um, up in Chicago. I think it was Sunday evening. They're fine, by the way. They're they're not they're not hurt by any means. Um, there was a derailment about thirty minutes or so south of Chicago, which there was a truck driver who could not see, and they end up hitting each other and killing the guy. So there was no one else on the train that was hurt. There were a couple, like two people that had to be to the hospital had to be taken to the hospital. Um, there were about five cars that were off the track. So the train is totaled. I'm sure they'll probably get rid of it. So a lot of that, and there was another schedule, I guess, for that train. I gotta find it, try and put it in the video, the link for it, for the entire story. They canceled that one because the train is completely wrecked. Or can't do nothing with it. So, yeah. Parents were fine. They got back yesterday around 4.30 in the morning. They sent me a text, so I knew at work. So, yeah, they were tired. I had to bus them from up there to down here. So, yeah, it's been kind of, you know, they got the concert. They got the Joy of the River ride and all that. It's just they're planning on separating Chicago from the state through a Mount Vernon meeting. It's, you know, it's... Um, Chicago just owes us too much money. They spend more than anything, and we don't get nothing down here. So we technically are pretty much poor as the state for Southern Illinois, and it's not real fair for the citizens to uh, pay all these taxes when they don't do these roads and these things like they say they would. So most of the time they don't listen, and then. You know, our governors were no notorious for being in jail. The last one was a lot of bitch. I got teased when I was in high school by my math teacher, my football coach. You know, I'm a water boy, of course. I couldn't play football because of bleeding disease. That's very rare, like hemophilia A, where I lack reactor rates, so I don't usually clot. And I was, plus, I got the protein injected. Yeah, I was always teased. And you look like a water boy. Hey, governor. Governor, come here. So I look like a boy bitch with my hairstyle, how I, my hair grows, and I was always teased from 2006 to 2010. I just am, I just look like him, you know. Got the dark hair, the, the right kind of hair layout, basically, and the looks close enough. So yeah, I was teased a lot, you know. They were gonna eat, you know, got me, you know, and all that, but you know, it's fine. Long ago, so I was always, every day I came, I always be teased by my coach. I always, always would be teased anyway. For every day I came, pretty much. He asked me went to jail for three charges of convictions that were more than that. Each conviction got him 15 years in prison. One was selling Obama's Senate seat, which that's not right to do. And he was in office, so I, I'd be pretty mad as well if that did occur to me. Uh, he was in the Senate for the Illinois, you know, defending what he could do. So, yeah, he got 15 years for that. And they eventually found enough proof and information, and they just put him in jail when I was a junior in the winter, like in the harsh first month of the year. They put him behind bars for our state with Governor Ryan as the one before that and others that, you know, the state just, they don't want to send their, pod, their governors to jail, their politicians basically because they do corruption and they, can't, they get proof of it and then they're put in jail because they're, they're illegal things they're doing. So yeah, he had fraud as well. You know, he was 
threatening, uh, I think it was a hospital, I think, or a school for money. It was a lot of money, by the way. I remember Ed Tice came here with that amount. He wasn't a good governor. He was not a good governor. He was a, a greedy governor. And he's like the rest of them. I mean, the new governor is just like him. I mean, look at Governor Pixer. He look, he just like him. He's just like the same kind of guy doing the same corruption as you know, he raising all these taxes, uh, in a way, but not you know, doing the things that Governor Ivanovich uh, did more of. You know, I just think uh, we're in trouble. The state is completely broke. I see every once a month, I see a U-Haul just get ready to leave the state. Just how bad it is. 4,000 people a day leave our state. And because of the high taxes, the excess of taxes that we owe. Some people pay over $6,000 in property tax. My parents probably pay around over $2,000 in property tax. And that's one I don't know. I don't, don't want to know, but, you know, it's just how it is. They're, you know, we're paying for them to mess up and put us more in debt and have more taxes on us, and we're losing money, basically. You know? I pay more taxes than I ever have, I say. Even if working two weeks. <laughs> the paycheck's a little less than it was in the past. Because the taxes, I owe like 50 Social Security, I owe like 50 to the federal and 30 from the state. Um... Plus, you know, deductions and all that. By the time I get it, it's a little under $440, which is a little bit like $10. Depending on the two weeks, you know, that's how much I make, basically. Um, that's how bad the state is with all the taxes and things like that, insurances, and I mean, just how much you, you can't live very well. And then they're trying to put all these new taxes on us. Like, they're going to tax our car trade-in value. So if you trade a car in for a new car out of state, even out of state, you'll get taxed. So, yeah, they're trying to pass that law. I don't know if it's passed yet or not, but they probably will be able to do it because they want to do it. They want to put more burdens on us, and our city does not want it. Our city's not putting more burdens on our citizens. Pretty coin because you know how many taxes just went through. So, so many new laws and taxes and things that uh, technically we don't technically need. Had more taxes, you know, I guess we owe enough as it is. But thanks for watching. I'll let, see ya.